man, I feel just like a rock star. Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 PS2 Career Mode Season 3 Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm about to do race 18 and 36, going to Chicagoland Speedway in Joliet, Illinois for the running of the Tropicana 400. Last race was at Daytona, and it was kind of bittersweet because I did get the win. However, I did not get that big sponsor bonus. Reason being, the only thing I did not do was qualify in the top 10. I qualified 12 because if you guys remember, for the sponsorship, um... I have to finish in 5th place, qualify in 10th place, and then finish ahead of Ricky Rudd. Well, I finished in 5th place, finished ahead of Ricky Rudd at Daytona, but I did not qualify in the top 10. So I did not get that big 1.4 million bonus. So that sucked. I mean, I was happy for the win, but I was disappointed because I didn't get that bonus. So it is what it is. Uh, let me show you the garage area, just remind you what's going on. Uh, overhauling chassis number 5 right now for one more race. Um... Engines, I'm overhauling engine number three for one more race. And then for bodies, I'm building body number nine for five more races and overhauling body number seven for one more race. Um, I mean, I got some good stuff here that I don't feel like I need to build at the moment. I think I could just keep overhauling st and stuff. We'll just see uh, how I want to do it. Uh, shop editions, one race left until the templates come in. So we'll just see how that goes. Okay, so... Let's go right into the race weekend. Uh, chassis. Going to do... Um, see, I want to do uh, chassis number 7 because that's the better tire grip and tire wear. So I'm going to use that one. Uh, engines. I'm going to do engine number 8 for this one. And then for bodies, I'm going to use um, body number... That's the better downforce. I want better downforce than draft. So I'll do body number 6. So it's a car range 67. It's not all too bad. I'm not sure how well I'm going to do here at Chicagoland, honestly. Uh, last season, I did not do well here, so maybe I'll do better. Let's just get on the qualifying see so you all start. Off turn number four to complete qualifying here at Chicagoland Speedway. 3048 on the first lap, 42nd. 3003 on the second lap. Ah, 18. Yep. So there goes that shot of getting that big bonus. Not going to happen here either. So, I mean, 18th is not too bad, but I would like a little better than that. But I kind of pushed in turn one on that second lap. So, anyways, let's just get right on into the race. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series comes to Illinois this week for today's race, the Tropicana 400 at the Chicago Land Speedway. Barney, we're still kind of new to this place. What do you think so far? Well, Joe, this really is a state-of-the-art facility. It's a one-and-a-half-mile trial, well, similar to Las Vegas with more banking. We're in for a great race today. Johnny Benson won the Bush Series championship in 1995. That championship was sandwiched between two Rookie of the Year awards. He won the Bush Series award in 1994, followed up his championship with Winston Cup Rookie Honors in 96. Brett Bodine really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. The engines have fired and the cars are rolling off pit road here at Chicagoland Speedway. Ryan Newman and Dale Jarrett on the front row. Let's get this race here at Chicagoland Speedway underway. Well, I thought Rusty Wallace was going to clear me, and he didn't, and I got, I went right down into him because I was going to try to get behind him to get to the bottom lane, but he didn't clear me like I thought he was. 
Alright, so lap one completed. Man, this car, I don't know if I pushed going into the corner there, like I drove it in too hard. But the car is just going to be so tight. It was like that in qualifying, too. So we'll just see how this goes, because... Because it's already a mess. Gordon's there. Mm. Can't get to the car on the bottom lane. What the hell? Oh shit! And then Joe Nemechek slams into the back of me. Just Arca braked into me, basically. Damn car, like turn. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna like this race car. <laughs> it's just tight. So I did hit the wall and turn the. What the? It's oh, it's gonna be one of those races where it's loose in the corner but tight coming off. That is such the worst combination of a car handling you can have. Loose and tight. Can't be one or the other. I'd rather fight a loose race car than a tight race car. I just do not like a tight race car at all. So this is gonna be a long race for me. Shame. Cause I was hoping maybe I perform well. Like, at mile and a half tracks, I've been actually performing well there. Like, Atlanta, Texas, uh, Charlotte. I mean, a little bit different configuration here at this track, but it's still a mile and a half, and I've been doing good on mile and a half racetracks. But it's just, uh, so far, it's not going so well on this one. The car is just tight. I mean, this track is almost similar to um, Kansas Speedway, okay, except Chicagoland Speedway on the back straightaway. Um, it's just a little bit of a turn down the back straightaway. Kansas doesn't have that, but like I said, it's almost like that configuration. All right, well, I'm trying to figure out this race car right now, see how it handles, and so far, I'm trying to get used to it. I'm figuring out just a little bit. I'm catching these guys ahead of me now, which is good. Yeah, I knew I was gonna be concerned about this race for sure. Um, oh, get off the apron. Don't hit the apron, Joseph, please. Yeah, I knew I was probably going to be concerned about this race. Don't block me. Oh, I hate that. And you're my ally. I don't know why you're blocking me. You think he gives me room. It's okay, because I got a run on him off turn four down the straightaway here. It's the first car I've passed in a few laps. I feel like this car... Oh, man, come on. I feel like this car's got decent speed. It's just handling is, is my big issue in this race. Just not turning like I want it to be. But yeah, see, I got... I got speed. And you know, I added, I wanted a car with more downforce, and <laughs> doesn't feel like it has a lot of downforce in the car at all. Alright, well, I feel like I can crack into the top 20. I'm not sure about top 15. Now, I know Ricky Rudd is ahead of me. But it don't really matter, because, like, I didn't, I'm not getting that bonus anyways, because I didn't qualify in the top 10. Alright, top 20 now. Got by Matt Kenseth. Oh my gosh. Thought I was going to come down in the Kenseth right there. Wow, some drivers are hitting down pit road a few laps earlier than I expected. At least a couple laps earlier. That's okay, I'll stay out for a little bit. Only like three cars ahead of me. I'm hitting. So I'm trying to figure out this race car now, and it seems like... Oh, wow, Jerry Nick. Godly, the, tr the car just pushes, though. Up the track. It's so tight. As soon as I hit the center of the corner, that's when it goes up the track. Although that corner was actually good that time. So I just passed three cars right there. Warburn, Jeremy, uh, Jamie McMurray, I should say, and Jerry Nadu. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to pit this time by or next time by. I'll, I'll probably maybe wait till next time by. Uh, we'll see. Got some more drivers down pit road. Yeah, I'm going to pit next time by instead. So I'm going to be in the top 10 for a little bit right now until I pit in the 10th spot. I'm gonna loosen up this car a little bit on the pit stop because, like I said, I, as soon as I hit the center of the corner, especially in turns one or two, I just get tight. The car just goes up the track. So I'm gonna come down pit road right now. Here I come. Oh, a little bit hot, a little bit hot. Okay. Oh yeah, let's loosen it up some more. Uh, let's have four tires, full tank of fuel, especially. I loosen up. About half a wedge down. Alright, uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, that was a good pit stop happy with that one um 16 seconds that's about a half a second faster than holy crap look okay i'll get by jerry now you do i don't mind free spot right there oh don't want the trick oh wow rusty wallace and then jeff Gorn. <laughs> good lord wow how did dale jarrett fall fall this far back dale jarrett started second in this race is he really for position right now I am about to say, what happened to him? He is for precision. Wow. I would assume Dale Jarrett would be running pretty good. Probably be running up front right now, but like, he just dropped back. He's pulling away already. Alright, so all the pit stops have not cycled through yet. We're waiting to see how it all cycles through, but I had a good pit stop half a second faster than the SMA time, so not too bad. Michael Waltrip's coming down pit road right now. Look at the speed I have down the straightaway. I mean, this car is fast. It's just my, the handling has just been the problem. Hopefully me loosening up the car a little bit uh, will help it. I right, well, I'm in the top 20. Getting the Matt Kenseth there. Trying to get by for 18th. I do clear him now. Alright, so I should be 14th right now. Okay. That's good. Good run so far. So I've actually gained some spots on that pit stop. So, okay. Not often I gain spots on pit road. So that's pretty cool. I I feel like I can get a top 10. We got nine laps to go here. I feel like a top 10 can happen. Wow, Ricky Rudd's actually in front of me. Like I said, it don't matter. Even if I finish ahead of him, it won't matter. Trying to get by Jeff Gorn for the 13th spot. I'm not really that far behind the leader either. See, if I took him maybe two tires, I probably maybe would have been closer to the lead. Like, maybe right with the race lead, but you're going to need tires at this track. Definitely going to need tires. He so made the right choice taking tires. I can make... Oh, wow, I oh, barely had a voice crack there. Oh, Jaybeck! Jesus! I didn't think I was going to get up to him, honestly. I just had such a run on him. I mean, I had a run on him, but I didn't think I was going to get to his back bumper. Wow. All right, I'm up to 12th now. I'm being a little bit aggressive in these final laps. Got seven laps to go. I gotta get by Ricky Rudd and Rusty Wallace if I'm gonna have a shot to get in the top 10. Man, if 
only I qualified better, maybe in the top 10, maybe I could have had a shot at, maybe I win at least a top 5, but you know what, a top 10 finish would actually do me well here, even though I'm not going to get that big bonus, I would like to get a top 10, because last season, oh, come on, car turn, because last season in this race, I, I did terrible, I think I finished like what, in the top 25, so it's a big step from racing here last season to this season. Ricky Rudd's pulling away though, which I don't like. Five laps to go, I'm trying to get by Rusty Wallace to uh, go up to the 11th spot. But at least I'm gonna, if I don't screw up, I'm gonna finish better than what I qualified. Rusty, please. Oh, well, I kind of forced him into the wall. I was just trying to clear him. And I don't think I'm gonna get up to Ricky Rudd now. He's pulling away. He got around Rusty Wallace and then started pulling away. Because he did come down pit row late in the great in the pit cycle. I would hit the wall there. Oh, and then I just had a terrible entry. This time in the corner right here, there you go. <laughs> damn it. I think I don't think I'm gonna get a top ten right here, guys. It's gonna be damn close. That's gonna suck. <sighs> it is what it is. I'm like what? A uh, second half behind Ricky Rudd. Three laps to go. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get a top ten now. Pulling away from Jeff Gordon and Rusty Wallace behind me. Actually, Jeff Gordon got around Rusty Wallace. Two to, go. Two to go. Yeah, I'm still about a second and a half behind him. Yeah, I'm not gonna get top ten. Damn it. So close. I mean, 11th place, it's not bad. Considering where I was last season at this race, 11th place finish, not bad at all. Next race gonna be in New Hampshire. That's a race I'm not looking forward to, but uh, it's whatever. Final lap here at Chicago Land Speedway. Alright, gonna come off turn number four now. And I'm gonna score a 11th place finish here That's solid run today, buddy. it's not bad it was a little bit better than I expected actually so I'm uh, because I thought top 15 top 20 finish for me here but when I said that was better than I thought I was gonna run uh only get up to 3.3 mil million so it's not still not bad probably gonna drop down in the happiness because Obviously, Aaron's, Aaron's wants a bigger deal. Oh, gosh, New Hampshire. All right. So, it looks like I'm still going to stick with the 99 right now. I mean, I've got two wins with them. They should be happy, but, you know, obviously, it's not good enough for them because you have to finish every uh, Rudd finish qualifying top 10 and finish top 5. So, let's see where the happiness is now at 42. Okay, so uh, let's look at the garage right now, see what's going to go on. How much would this bring me up to? 68, 63, 68, 67. I might start overhauling that one. Yeah, I'm going to overhaul this one for right now for two two races. Overall for 300k, that's not too bad. The engines, uh, how much would this bring? So only bring me up to 68, 64. I might sell an engine, guys. I'm gonna sell an engine. Sell an engine. Let's buy a new one. I got the money to do it. Let's do it. 72, 67. I'll take it. Let's build it. There we go for nine races. And then bodies. Uh, building body number nine for four more races. 
I'm gonna overhaul this one and bring me up to 67.65. So I'm gonna do that. There we go. All right. Uh, shop editions. Let's see. I can buy another shop edition. Uh. I probably want to do the uh, engine balancer. Yeah, let's do that. For six races, let's do it for 600k. Let's buy the engine balancer. Okay, so I did some stuff. Bought some stuff. Bought a new engine and new engine balancer. So that means by the time maybe this engine balancer comes in, should get some pretty decent power on the engine. So anyways, guys, next race, New Hampshire Motor Speedway. I will see you there.